The Simpson Query Biomedical Research Center represents the uh, growth for research for the whole university. There's very little opportunity for science expansion on the Evanston campus. By building this building downtown, we're not only providing the medical school with expanded research space, we're also providing research space for the greater university. It is the largest single project ever undertaken by the university. Because this is going to be a 600 foot tall research building, which needs to be very stiff, it can't really blow in the wind like you might have heard other high rises, you know, move in the wind. We put in extensive uh, foundations. We put in a caisson system, which was some of the largest caissons ever poured in the city of Chicago. They have 10 foot diameter shaft with a 25 foot bell. We also are excavating down 40 to 60 feet so that the basement and sub-basement levels of the research building will line up with the Lurry building. That's also taken considerable structural work and, and effort. Things like cell injections need a very precise base. We also, all the microscopes will need to be vibration free, so therefore having a very stiff structure and a very heavy foundation will keep that structure from moving while they're trying to do their scientific work. In the next few months, for those who remember when we were pouring the, the uh, caissons, there's a lot of concrete trucks. Those will start coming back again starting at the end of August where we're starting to basically pour all the structural concrete work in the bottom of the foundations. After that, they start to actually building the structural floors out of the ground. So we have a basement floor and a sub-basement floor uh, that will be framed up and the uh, elevator core will be rising ahead of the, uh, the floors. Once we get to the ground floor, which will be in probably middle winter next year, uh, we'll start to put structural steel on the building. It's one of the biggest medical research buildings ever attempted. When the university builds the second phase, it will be the tallest research building ever in the world, about 600 feet tall. So it's quite a unique challenge. It's not like your typical everyday building.